Welcome to Sports News. Senegal has suspended all sports and cultural events after eight people died in a football stadium disaster. Legislative elections are due on July the 30th and tensions are running high with prominent opposition leader and Dakar mayor Khalifa Saal campaigning from jail. A wall collapsed in a Dakar stadium during the League Cup final between State Mbour and U.S. Uchman, which was marred by clashes between rival fans and police use of tear gas. A judicial inquiry has been opened to investigate the tragedy. U.S. Oman has also been suspended by Senegal's Football Federation. And police say the president of the Spanish Football Federation and his son have been held as part of a corruption investigation. Angel Maria Villa was arrested on suspicions of embezzling funds. His son, Gorka, was among a number of other people also arrested during a number of raids early on Tuesday. Spain's High Court says one of its investigating magistrates and anti-corruption prosecutors are leading the probe. Reports say the allegations center on the falsification of documents and skimming profits from international football matches. Amber Russia Dutman has ruled out pair Emmerich Aubameyang leaving the club in the summer, insisting that their transfer window is closed. The 28-year-old striker has been linked with, with the likes of AC Milan and Chelsea, while reports of a mega move to China have also surfaced. Aubameyang was the top scorer in the Bundesliga in the 2016-2017 campaign, scoring an incredible 31 goals in 32 games to see up competition from Robert Lewandowski. And it appears that Gabon International is going to be staying put with the club's sporting director, Michael Zolk, revealing that time has run out for any interested parties. And in tennis, U.S. Tennis Association has announced that the total player compensation at the U.S. Open will top $50 million for the first time this year, with a record $3.7 million going to each of the singles champions. Ulster also says that runners-up will get $1.825 million, up from $1.75 million. The previous winners of the final Grand Slam tournament of the season, Stan Wawrinka and Julie Kerber, earned $3.5 million each. The U.S. Open starts on August the 28th. That's it on Sports News. Jim, I'll be back shortly. Thanks a lot to Neata. South Sudan's President Salva Kiir has declared a state of emergency in parts of the Northwest. The statement broadcast on state television did not give a reason for the decree, but the state of emergency is expected to last for three months. Since 2013, the conflict in South Sudan has killed tens of thousands of people and displaced more than two million others. The last state of emergency was in 2014 in the Unity State of the North and Johangi in the East as rebels fought government forces. Tensions continue between both sides as heavy fighting has also escalated in the eastern part of the country. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump is calling Republicans in the Senate to repeal Obamacare, and he says he's not going to own it. The party has been divided on the issue, with moderates concerned about the effects of the most vulnerable. Republicans were in chaos in the U.S. Congress over health care legislation after a second attempt to pass a bill in the Senate collapsed late Monday. Three Republican senators said they opposed their party's proposed alternative, making it impossible for the bill to pass in its current form. President Donald Trump had made repealing and replacing Obamacare, under which more than 20 million people gained health care coverage, a key campaign pledge. Vice President Mike Pence backed the president's call. The Senate should vote to repeal now and replace later or return to the legislation carefully crafted in the House and Senate. But either way, inaction is not an option. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell gave up on efforts to overhaul the 2010 Affordable Act late on Monday after it became clear he did not have the votes. He announced plans to vote in the coming days on a two-year transition to simply repeal the health care law with no replacement. I regret that the effort to repeal and immediately replace the failures of Obamacare will not be successful. That doesn't mean we should give up. Leader McConnell, I couldn't agree more. It's time to start over on health care. Abandon the idea of cutting Medicaid to give a tax break to the wealthy. 
According to the Republicans, the 2010 legislation is an overreach of the federal government. They say patients have less choice in higher premiums. They proposed an alternative that kept key Obamacare taxes on the wealthy while imposing sharp cuts to health care for the poor and allowing insurance to offer less coverage. And the main news again. Fresh violence today erupted in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State, leaving 37 people dead and many others injured. The incidents followed a clash between herdsmen and indigents in the area. Also today, the People's Democratic Party fixed August the 12th for its non-elective national convention as it concluded a series of meetings aimed at relaunching the party. And U.S. President Donald Trump today called for a repeal of Obamacare without replacement, triggering confusion among lawmakers in Congress. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahkanyato. Do have a good night.